Hey guys, Omerko here, self-taught web developer. Just a few days ago, I uploaded my last video on JavaScript array methods uh, series. For those of you who didn't catch it, uh, you will have down in description of this video links uh, to playlist on YouTube and a free course of uh, that same playlist on Udemy, uh, so you could uh, watch it also there. So now let's talk about today's video. As you can see on my screen, I have a slider of three different slides. One, two and three. Uh, so today we will create a bootstrap for a slider uh, or carousel as you wish to call it. Uh, this slider will be full uh, in height on all screens plus uh, fully responsive. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I am uploading uh, new content every day and also click a bell icon so you could get notifications on my uh, latest videos. <music> First of all, uh, let's see what I have here in my Visual Studio code. I have an uh, image folder where I have uh, three different images that we will use uh, through this uh, uh, project. One, uh, the second one and the third one. I also have my main HTML file and external CSS for that HTML. In my CSS you will see just one styling, basically a uh, carousel item with a height of uh, 100 VH, so it will take the entire height of a screen. Uh, there are some background properties also, like uh, repeat, uh, to, it is set to uh, no repeat position, which is uh, set to center of a background image, and background size uh, is set to cover, so it can uh, take whole size of container. Uh, the reason why uh, we use background properties uh, is that we will uh, use the background images on slides, not the HTML tag images. So now let's take a look in our HTML. So in our HTML I have a title obviously, then I have a link to uh, Bootstrap uh, latest uh, CSS uh, that is hosted on CDN. Uh, I have a link to my external uh, styling, right? And uh, down here in the body I have a Bootstrap uh, uh, imports that I need, so jQuery, uh, the, then popper.js and also latest uh, bootstrap.js file. All of these are crucial for our slide slider to work, to have slides. So yeah, now we can start coding. So I will make some space here. I like to put my comments so I know on uh, which section am I and uh, also if there is some more features I could easily find myself to code. Uh, so we are coding slider. I will create the section uh, of slider, so section slider section, uh, the cl class will be slider section, let's call it that way, that way. Uh, so uh, this, is, this section is not important for us, but I just like to uh, put each feature in its own section. So here I will also put comment and comment end of slider. So now inside I will create div of uh, ID uh, carousel. So this uh, ID, you can use your custom one, you don't need to call it carousel. I'm calling it carousel as it is the only one on our screen. So I also need some classes, like first of all, carousel class. This is a bootstrap class to create the carousel, to create a the slider. Then a, a slide class. A slide class is a class basically that will allow us to slide our items inside of our carousel. Then I need one more thing here. I will need a data ride. This is the property for a uh, bootstrap and uh, we should set it to be carousel also. So this data ride will basically let the bootstrap know that this uh, whole section will work like a carousel. So yeah. So now that we have a main uh, wrapper for our carousel, I will create some uh, indicators. So. Uh, I will put the comment in the indicators. So here we can create the those indicators will be down below as uh, we have ones here. Yeah, so this one, these indicators. So let me open up my screen currently. This is the project that I've been working on for this project. So yeah. So obviously we have the empty screen for now. So back to code inside of indicators. Indicators uh, in Bootstrap are mostly uh, ordered list. I will put the end comment also. And 
so they should have class of uh, carousel uh, indicators so they could work as one uh, also uh, inside each of indicators should be its own li list item and here i will put a uh, data target to be equal to carousel so uh, each of these uh, list items should uh, target our carousel wrapper so we should know which carousel should be targeted as maybe we could have two or three uh, uh, of those on screen so also i would need a data slide to property so you should know where to slide and this one as it is the first one it will slide to zero as we are counting from zero so uh, as this is also first one this should have a class of active so it should be active when we come to a screen right so i will copy this two more times as we have three carousels and data target is same for all of those and data slide two should change from zero to one and here to two uh, class active we will remove it for these two here as we need just on the first one so now let's create some content for our carousel so i will create a div uh, let me first put a comment so uh, carousel content and here i will create a div of carousel inner this is the inner part of our carousel wrapper basically uh, this is wrapping our main content that will be visible on a screen so end of carousel uh, content so yeah uh, this also could have a row property of a list box as you could see we could choose a couple of uh, properties here uh, i will choose the list box so uh, this will be much more clearer for boots job so yeah now we can create our first uh, carousel item so here inside i will create a section of uh, class of carousel uh, item so uh, this will contain our first class oh sorry our first slide end of item so this here also should have class of active as it should be visible on a screen uh, when we come to a screen at first place so now we will put the stylings here in html so i will put style to background image as uh, you know i mentioned we will work with background images so i will put url here and we could link to our image folder and image number one we could also have some text here so i will create a section here of uh, carousel caption this carousel caption is a bootstrap class so all of these classes are handled by bootstrap so yeah i'm i'm not uh, working with my custom class here i will also on this carousel caption add two more classes like uh, d none and uh, d and d block so uh, with these classes uh, uh, the caption the text won't be with this class won't be visible on uh, screens that are smaller like uh, tablets or phones but on larger screens like laptops and uh, desktops it will be visible so i will also put end of caption here as a comment end of captions so uh, here inside i will have my h3 as this image is a is basically amazon forest yeah as you can see i will put uh, as heading for this image like amazon forest and i will also have some paragraph for text i will put like cool description uh, for amazon forest uh, let's check out this now let me first me i mistype here and also here wow yeah so let me let's go to check out this i will refresh my page and here uh, you can see now basically that we have our first image as an image and also we have captions here amazon forest cool description and there is three indicators that we created and first one is obviously active as it is the white one and the slider first item of carousel is obviously act active as it is visible so let's go back to code so let's create two more items that we need so i will grab my carousel item here like this and copy two times one two so for the second one 
I will remove active class and also for the third one. So we don't need active class when we come to a page now. Uh, the background images will change from 1 to 2 here and from 1 to 3 here. Uh, this one could stay the same, but uh, let's change text here. So for the second text, text uh, will be like this. Heading will be bridge picture and paragraph. I will put paragraph to be awesome uh, description for bridge. Yeah, and third, uh, for third captions that we have on the screen, uh, it will be flowers and grass and paragraph beauty of flowers and grass so let's go back to our uh, browser if i refresh the page uh, i can see now my first slide uh, and it, it won't move by the way uh, i will click here and it will move right so obviously we have our slider we could click through indicators everything looks great bridge picture awesome description for bridge flowers and grass beauty of flowers and grass yeah so why it won't work so bootstrap by default has, has this uh, if you are currently watching this slider you won't be able well bootstrap won't move your slider until you move it by m manually right but if i click outside let me click outside and i wait a couple of seconds it will start moving ma uh, automatically as you could see now so yeah uh, if i am currently on this uh, feature uh, clicking through it, cr through it, it won't move, but as I go outside of it, it will move. So let's go back uh, to code. Now there is also one more thing that I wish to add here, and uh, that one more thing uh, is uh, carousel uh, icons for previous and the next uh, slide. So yeah, I don't like that I don't have here my comment. I will put end of carousel for this one. So uh, down below. I will still keep in my myself in my carousel. I will move myself out of carousel inner as we are not uh, in the main component anymore. And I will put a comment here, uh, icons for previous and the next as we are working on that. So these icons should be uh, A tags, basically those should be links with href that will lead us to ID like a hashtag for id carousel so it will target our main carousel obviously and uh, here uh, it needs to have a class of carousel uh, control and previous so not end this is the, the whole class carousel control previous so uh, this icon will uh, lead us to uh, back uh, to previous uh, slide I will also put a role here of a button and also data uh, slide to be set to previous. So now we have uh, this uh, link that will lead us, but we also need an uh, icon. So I will create a span tag inside uh, of my anchor tag and inside I will put a class on a span carousel control previous uh, icon so there is a couple of icons that uh, a bootstrap ha has by default so this is the one of those uh, it will basically create a left uh, chevron left arrow icon that we need uh, for a previous uh, slide and i will also put uh, area hidden on this area hidden to be true so it will be visible when we come to a page and uh, also i will put down below one more span this span is optional but it is good to have it with class of sr only this is just for screen readers obviously so now that we have a previous icon let's create the next one so href will stay the same carousel control next should be role is button data slide should also be next uh, for icon carousel control next icon 
area hidden set to true and SR only for screen readers. This looks nice. So uh, we have now icons for our slider. Let's go back. Let's refresh the page. So yeah, as you can see, we have a left uh, arrow and the right one. So if I click right one, it will move me to a next slide. Yeah, and if I click left one, it will move me to a previous slide. So yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with uh, this as there is uh, not a lot of code here. Uh, design is obviously handled by Bootstrap, functionality also. It was easy to create and uh, gives us a nice feature for maybe our next project, uh, uh, no matter small or big. This will be all for this video. So don't forget to subscribe as I am posting new content weekly and also hit that bell icon so you could get notified when I upload uh, new videos. Uh, thank you and see you in the next one. Thank you.